With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, so here's the question. It says that PT is a tangent to the circle at T if angle ABC is 70 degree and angle ACB is 50 degree. Calculate angle CBT, angle BAT and angle APT. Okay, so let's start. Here's a figure. With the help of this figure, we have to find out the values of angle C, B, T. Okay, let me join this B, T. Okay, so we have to find this angle C, B, T. Then we have to find angle B, A, T. That is B, A, T. Okay, so let me join A, T. So this is angle B, A, T. And then we have to find angle A, P, T. Right, so angle A, P, T is this angle. So we have to find these three angles. Okay, so let's start. Now here... In this figure, you can see that uh, PT is a tangent, right? And this angle is 90 degree. So we know that radius of a circle makes an angle 90 degree with the tangent, right? So if this angle is 90 degree and this PT is a tangent, it means if I see this point as O, then OT must be the radius, right? OT must be the radius of this given circle. And uh, if OT is radius, then CT must be the diameter of this given circle, right? So, if CT is the diameter of the given circle, then this angle CBT will be an angle in a semicircle, right? And we know that angle in a semicircle are always equal to 90 degree, right? So, from here, we can see that this angle CBT must be 90 degree, okay? Angle CBT should be equal to 90 degree because this angle is angle in a semicircle, okay? Semicircle, right? So, we find out the first part of our question that is angle CBT is equal to 90 degree. Okay, moving further, in triangle ACB, in triangle ACB, I can write that angle A plus angle C plus angle B will be equal to 180 degree, right? Because the sum of angles of a triangle is always 180 degree. Now, angle A, we have to find out angle C or more precisely angle ACB is given to us as 50 degree. And angle B or angle ABC is given to us as 70 degree, right? Should be equal to 180. So from here, we can find out the value of angle A. That is 180 minus 50 minus 70 degree, right? So this will be equal to 60 degree, right? So angle A is equal to 60 degree. Or angle A can be written as angle CAB, right? So angle CAB is equal to 60 degree. Now again, Angle C A T is equal to 90 degree because of this concept. Okay. Because angle C A T is also an angle in a semicircle. Right. So let me show you. This is angle C A T. Okay. This angle. And since C T is a diameter, then this C A T must also be an angle in a semicircle. Right. So this angle C A T. That is this angle is also a 90 degree angle, right? So that's what I had written here. Now we had to find angle B A T, right? So angle B A T must be equal to angle C A T minus angle C A B, right? Now angle C A T is 90 degree minus angle C A B we have find out as 60 degree, right? So from here we got angle B A T as 30 degree. Okay, so the second part of a question that is angle BAT came out to be 30 degree. Okay, so this we had find out. Now moving towards the third part, we have to find out the angle APT, right? For that, I can write that angle BAT plus angle TAP must be equal to 180 degree, right? Because PAB is a straight line, right? So if this B, A, B is a straight line, then the sum of these angles must be 180 degree, right? So, uh, so from here, we find out angle T, A, P as 180 minus B, A, T, that is 30 degree, right? So, angle T, A, P is actually equal to 150 degree, okay? Now, from the image, you can see that this angle C, B, A and angle C, T, A are the angles made by the same chord C, A, right? So, this angles must be equal because angles made by the same chord are always equal, right? So, angle C, B, A that is given to us as 70 degree must be equal to angle C, T, A, right? So, we have angle C, 
पी ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी टी ए बिकॉज दीज आर द एंगल्स मेड बाय सेम कॉल्ड इन अ सर्कल राइट एंड हैंस दे मस्ट बी इक्वल सो दिस एंगल सी बी ए इज गिवन टू वर्स एट सेवेंटी डिग्री राइट सो एंगल सी टी ए मस्ट ऑल्सो भी इक्वल टू सेवेंटी डिग्री राइट ऑल्सो वी नो डेट एंगल सी टी पी इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री राइट दिस इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो एंगल सी टी पी मस्ट भी इक्वल टू एंगल सी टी ए प्लस एंगल ए टी पी राइट सो सी टी पी दैट इज सेवेंटी डिग्री शुड बी इक्वल टू सी टी ए दैट इज सेवेंटी डिग्री प्लस एंगल ए टी पी राइट सो फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन आई विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल ए टी पी एस नाइन्टी माइनस सेवेंटी डिग्री दैट इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री राइट सो वी गॉट एंगल ए टी पी इनिशियली वी हैड फाइंड आउट एंगल टी ए पी राइट सो इन ट्राइंगल ए पी टी आई कैन राइट दैट एंगल ए प्लस एंगल पी प्लस एंगल टी मस्ट भी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री बिकॉज द सम ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज ऑलवेज हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्री राइट सो एंगल ए दैट वी हैड फाइंड आउट अर्लियर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी डिग्री राइट एंगल पी which we have to find out plus angle t which we have uh, find out earlier is 20 degree right should be equal to 180 degree so from here we got the value of angle p or more precisely angle apt as 180 minus 20 minus 150 degree right so angle apt will be equal to 180 minus 170 degree that is equal to 10 degree right so angle a p t is equal to 10 degree so this was the third part of our question this will be our answer okay i hope this will help you thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today